Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the day after Veterans Day, November 11th, or November 12th, 2023. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And yeah, technically, I bought most of these all on Veterans Day, but I got tired and just did the video today. Um, yeah, well, let's, get, let's have at it. So in the thumbnails, you'll notice a couple of things like, why is Vegeta here again? Um, I picked up this Vegeta again because this time it actually had the chalice sticker to make it official. I just didn't like the idea that the one I had didn't have um, a chalice exclusive sticker. So I just happened to be at Chalice Toys and I went over there, or collectibles, and I went over there and picked one up. Picked up a bunch of stuff from Chalice, to be honest. A lot of them doubles from stuff that I already got just because. Well, I busted greeds, to be honest. <laughs> I busted greeds. I just wanted to, you know, um, I'll show you what I mean. So, yeah, this is the last in the that was missing in my collection of the Warriors. So the Warriors collection video is coming up pretty soon. This was a missing piece. And, yeah, he was uh, the one that I was, can't wait. Now I can finally do the gosh dang video, right? But. In my, when I was there, I decided I was going to pick up an extra just in case the one that I got wasn't nearly as good or as mint, you know, so I picked up another baseball fury and yeah, I, you know, to, to ensure that the set was minty fresh and another one since it was going for a lot cheaper than the PPG rate. So I was like, oh, yep. I also did the same thing with this. So I got the all three, you know, just needed to get at it on my system. Um, and as it turns out, a couple were in better shape than the ones that I originally had, so I switched them out. Uh, next in the lineup, I got I went to the I went to Funko Hollywood again, and I picked up Masked Soldier, uh, Funko exclusive. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like the ones with the guns because they were cool in the sh in the the show, which I finally got caught up watching the whole thing over the weekend. Yeah, I need to get me a masked worker and the masked officer <laughs> when I get a chance. Yeah, but as far as getting any of these characters, most likely not. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Next up, I had to get Dustin with the trash can to match the um, Eddie that I picked up with, um, you know, for Stranger Things. I don't know if I shared it earlier in a, in a, in a Funko haul video, but just in case I didn't here, here's what it looks like. I, I figured I'd get the matching piece to go with Dustin, you know, I already have him, the set where him and Dustin, you know, poster pop, but, uh, I just couldn't get enough. I had to get the singles. So yeah, this is my favorite scene. One of my favorite scenes in all of stranger things really. Next up, the GOAT. Yeah, Michael Jordan, uh, Funko Shop exclusive too. Um, yeah, I already had the, or the earlier one, but I wanted to get the hardwood classic version that was also a Funko Shop exclusive. So pretty excited about that. The GOAT, Michael Jordan. It's just too bad that he's wearing... 45 on this. This is when he returned. I was hoping to be 23, but mm, you can't always get what you want. Yeah, his return. <laughs> and well, before I get to the to that one, I got a little bit of a special one. This one's a GameStop exclusive, which just happened to be at Funko Shop Hollywood, and that is Bahamut from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, yeah, I know your boy's out of control. Just got too many things, too many toys, too many, everything just all over the place. Yeah. Bahamut looking good. I'll be doing a, a video of him single focus for your guys' entertainment, him and Tia Matt. So yeah. All right. Next up, uh, here we go. 
back to the yeah sorry about that yeah you know what if you guys want to this is also what i've been getting myself into some action force figures <laughs> this was my first one this one's based on you know real life veteran tim kennedy who's special forces and a mma fighter yeah action force was originally the uk brand of gi joe and yeah well somebody else got it valiverse got the rights and making his own anyway back to more what you guys are here for and that's the green arrow yeah i know my toys out of just control it's good to see all of it <laughs> connor hawk the green arrow nft release yeah he was the 90s um green arrow when ollie queen was killed so yeah, he's his son raised by monks kind of a cool character he's who i grew up with and they just ruined this character they when they brought ollie queen back they just didn't know what to really do with him or anything yeah connor hawk was cool i'll do i'll probably do a single focus on this nft but i'm reluctant to because as you can see the release is you know limited but you know it's pretty common i guess but still i just i just can't bring myself to you know but yeah um that's it that's all i had for this segment of vinyl therapy sessions um i don't know sometime in the near future you might see me start doing action figures too let me know you know viewership if you guys would be interested at all in me you know showcasing those because i've kind of dipped back into that thing as much as i've tried so very hard to uh stray away so i could focus on pops but man you know <laughs> When vet when vet when Veterans Day became closer, I just found myself buying a whole bunch of GI Joe classifieds, and I was like, "Oh gosh, it's just too hard to resist." And yeah, now I look at the rabbit hole that I got myself into. You know, <laughs> yeah, so it's so bad that it's taking up space, and they they snuck into my video, <laughs> um, especially the the third party stuff, this Valiverse stuff, which is not too bad, but yeah, you know. Anyways, folks, that's all I got for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the uh, Uncle Pop Hall of November 12, 2023. I am your host, Coco Smooth, and until the next video, folks, ciao.